I'm already three years now, right? I sent in my I-175 to remove condition of green card. The I-751. And my wife says she want a divorce right now because we're not getting along and stuff. So she said I must leave and she need a divorce. Is that going to affect me? Well, it affects you, but you'll still get a green card. You just got to change up what you're doing. Okay? The law doesn't require you to stay in an unhappy marriage. The law doesn't require you to try to save a marriage you don't want to save. All the law requires, what the whole purpose of the I-751 is to look back on the day you got your green card, on the day you went for your adjustment interview, or the day you went for your immigrant visa in another country at a, at a U.S. embassy somewhere, and have the government look back a second time in the past and say, when this person got a green card, whether it's through adjustment of status or through processing at the U.S. embassy, was this a bona fide legitimate marriage? And they give you four ways four ways in which that they will go back and look to determine whether this was a bona fide loving marriage. One way is you and your wife show up for another interview and they interview you and they say, yep, yeah, it was lovely, loving then, it's loving now, congratulations, you got your permanent card. But they give you three other ways. If your wife's throwing you out of the house, you can, you can show up by yourself and say, I got thrown out of the house because my wife was abusive, I didn't want to stay in an abusive relationship, here's proof of the abuse, here's proof that it was a real marriage. You could show up and say, my wife threw me out of the house. She's not with me anymore. I would have an extreme hardship if I had to go back home to my home country. And here's proof that it was a real marriage. Or you can show up and say, I'm divorced. Here's the divorce decree. I have proof it was a real marriage. Here it is. Of the three, the easiest is I'm divorced. And here's proof it's a real marriage. So if you have okay. a pending I-751, do it, leave the house. You, you, as long as it was a real marriage, leave with proof it was a real marriage because you're not going to be able to get back in. She's not going to let you back in. So leave with the proof and start a divorce. And when you're divorced, you write immigration, say I'm changing over my case from a, a joint application to a waiver application based on a divorce. Oh, okay. All right? I'm a green card holder, right? And my kids are here. Mm -hmm. I sent in my I-130 form. I wanted to know, can I file the adjustment of status? Because the uh, I noticed the how, they, old, how old are they the now? The dates are current. Current, right? How old? They're under twenty-one. Yes, they're all. Okay, under you got to get the because they're not immediate relatives. The government is going to make you get the I one thirty approved first. So you can oh, only sure. file a pending I one thirty with an adjustment when you are an immediate relative. This is an immediate relative means you're not on a waiting list. So you got to get the I-130 approved first before you do the adjustment. They're going to they're gonna bounce it back. Now, you can certainly try to do that. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt. Maybe, maybe they'll accept it. You never know. I'm just telling you what the general policy has been for years and years and years. The priority dates have just become current for this month. So maybe, maybe they'll accept it. I'm just telling you in the past, that's what they used to do 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago when, when we had oh, a similar situation. Okay. So you can try. You can try to do it. But my, my, guess, my guess is, my guess mm -hmm. is, yes, you can try to do it. But my guess is that they're going to return everything to you and say we can't accept this because you have to have the I-130 approved first. If you are going to do it, make sure that the kids are here at least 90 days. It's just something I read on the USCIS is um, I-485. One of the, the things that changed on the on on the form um who can file they they have there as long as there's an available okay visa then, then, do it. then do it then do it it then do it you can you know copy okay do it do so it i just wanted to know if you do, I, I, mm -hmm. you, nothing bad will happen the worst that will happen is they don't accept the application okay so but okay. make sure that the kids are here at least 90 days okay before you do okay it. okay all right, thank you. Right. Yeah, one of my brothers uh, is in Nigeria right now. He used to live in in the States, right. and he got deported in 2012. What was he, what was he deported for? For, like, credit cards, fraud, or whatever. Okay, well, well that, that's a big whatever. Was it in excess of $10,000, the credit card fraud? Uh, I'm not sure to be exact. You're not sure to be exact. All right, if it was in excess of $10,000, he's not coming back because that would make him an aggravated felon. Oh, okay. So uh, let me ask you one. Another, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Another question is, uh, my niece is going to be 21 but next year. Can she file for her three siblings in Nigeria that she had the same father? Uh, yes, she can file for them now. How long would that take? 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. Okay, no problem. I'll, right. I'll call for a consultation okay, great. about I'll, that. Hold on.
I have a friend, and she got married to a U.S. citizen, and she got her 10-year green card. And her husband, he he left her for another state, and she was wondering if she could get a divorce or how it would affect her if she got a divorce. Did, he, he, did she get her green card, or she has a pending green card? She got her green card. It's a 10-year green card. It's a 10-year or a 2-year? 10-year. Okay, when did she get her green card? Uh, was it in April? April. Yes. All right. Uh, it would affect, if she did a divorce right now, mm -hmm. and she lives in New York, in New yes. York, to get a divorce, you have to show irreconcilable differences for six months. That's what you have to show in a divorce. Okay. Okay? I'm just telling you okay. facts. Okay? And then you got to yes. put your facts together, okay, and be smart. Okay. All right. So you have to okay. show irreconcilable differences for six months. Okay. So if you do a divorce right now, we're in mm -hmm. first week of July. That means in your divorce, you and your spouse had irreconcilable differences since at least February, maybe before. Yeah. She got a green card in April. Yes. So either, either she's lying in the divorce under penalties of perjury because she did not have irreconcilable differences with her spouse in February, March, or April. Or mm -hmm. she's lying to the U.S. government in April when she got her green card and said, I'm in a bona fide loving marriage with this man when you were having irreconcilable differences. What, which one is it? Oh. So, you know, if you got a divorce now and immigration would ever look at your divorce decree, such as when you file your citizenship, that person's going to have a big problem. Okay. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't do a divorce now. Maybe, maybe in six okay. months from now. Maybe nine months from now, but not the moment. Okay. All right. All right. Got it. Thank you. All right. So I have a two-year green card um, based on a marriage to a U.S. citizen, uh, which is expiring at the end of next year. But my wife, she wants to divorce me. We have been living together since the beginning of 2018, though. We do have uh, joint assets. Um, car insurance, bank accounts, uh, photos. Well, yeah, right I mean, now, you're, you're like the, wow, the third person in a row who we can't seem to get marriages that stay. For, it's really making me, making me nervous now. Yeah, it's making me nervous that everybody's getting divorced. As long as you <laughs> yeah, I was, are. I was hearing the past yeah, few calls. Yeah, yeah, as long as, as long as, as long again, as long as it was a bona fide marriage, nobody, you're not required to stay in an unhappy marriage. So as long as it was a bona fide marriage, you can get divorced, prove you lived with your spouse for some period of time after you got your green card, right. and you'll still be able to remove the conditions. Do you think all that is enough? Because that's all I have in the, in the past 18 months. That's all I got. <laughs> I, I would have to look at all your documents. They look at the totality of circumstances. They interview you. You could always get affidavits from people. You could look at, you can try to like recreate bills and things of that nature. You have junk mail that comes to your house in your name. You have junk mail that comes to her house in the name. Any piece of paper right. that has an address on it. So, I mean, there's things you can do. Hold on, and I think you, maybe you need a consultation so because you seem a little a little anxious, like I don't know whether to do what, what I should be doing. So hold on one second, all right? My sister is an American citizen, right? She wants to know if her, she filed for her husband. How long will it take? Where's the husband? Right here in New York. They're both here? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. about six months for his work permit and travel and nine to 12 months for his green card. And if she filed for her dad, her dad is right here, but he overstays same, time. Same How deal. How long it will take? Deal. Same deal. All right. All right. Okay, then. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye. I have three questions. The first one is, I am a pending asylum. Can my, can my, can a company sponsor for my green card? Maybe. If you're 245i, if you wouldn't, you, your problem is going to be that if you're ineligible to adjust your status here because you've fallen out of status and pending asylum would most likely be falling out of status. Uh, you would have to go oh. back to your home country to pick up your green card through a job sponsorship, which is the country you're claiming asylum from that your life's in danger if you go back. So um. even, so even if you go back and you say, okay, I'm going to do it, I'm going to risk my life, they're going to turn you down. They're going to say BS on the asylum. So, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't see that as an option for you at the moment, but we can have a, I'm, I'm basing it on not knowing you and not knowing your situation. I'm happy to have a consultation with you and then find out more and say, oh, we can do a job sponsorship 
But that's the. I'm just giving you general stuff. I don't know you, but what you're going on with you specifically. So if you want to have a consultation, I'm happy to do it. So hold on one second. My mom, she's a resident here, in, and she filed for three of my brother who, who are living in Ethiopia, East Africa. Right. And uh, we uh, we we got a response from U- USCIS for two of them. They got approved in MVC uh, processing their application, but for one of uh, my brother. We got. Uh, we heard uh, it is approved, but the MVC is not uh, processing. We did not hear uh, from the for his specific process. Uh, is you, who's uh, filing? For, is this your parents are filing for your siblings? Is that what yeah, it was? Yeah, my 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 mother. And they were and, sibling, they were and they were yes. and they were filed all at the same time. And you heard from two brothers, but si- not a third. Yes, yes, Brad. All right. So, but, but all cases but, were approved. All three were approved, right? All, all, all approved, okay. and we heard. All right, so we just have to follow up with the NVC. I'm sure, I'm sure he's there somewhere. We just got to figure out where. And the other question, I filed for my wife. I'm permanent resident. I filed like uh, I want Terry and I want Terry A. And current prior, current date is I see 18 to 24 months. Is there anything to speed up this process time? Where's your wife? Ethiopia. After your I-130 is pending for 12 months, you can file a mandamus to speed it up. Oh, okay. It's been now almost uh, 13 months. Though. Okay, so then if you hold on, you can do a mandamus. Hold on one second, okay? I'm a two-year uh, two green card older, um, but I have worked my condition. But anytime soon, I believe I can have an interview because it's been tw- 12 months since we filed for the... To remove the for conditions. the way, uh, revoke the condition. Yeah, it takes about, um, uh, just so you know, it takes about 18 months right now. So 18 months, yeah. so I have another six, six months, months to go? Least, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's happening is, um, is based on marriage. Are you going to tell me that your By marriage event? is breaking up? Yeah, uh, oh, it's based on, on marriage, marriage. Is your marriage, is marriage breaking up? marriage breaking up? You hear me right now? I hear you right now. I hear you right now. Okay, yeah. How's, it's based how's on your, marriage. I hear you. How's your marriage, good or bad? Marriage. I mean, we don't know yet. That's how I'm going to explain. Oh, boy. But I don't want to stay. I'm not staying there, but I want to divorce as soon as possible because there's nothing in life to be unhappy. So we got to make it quick. And I mean, I don't know what is the, the problem is we fall because I've been leaving the house, but I moved out like almost like three months. So I'm wondering what is the consequences is. And I have a son. You know, and I'm I'm taking my son uh, like 50 percent or 60 percent. Yeah. Well, you have a son, you have a child care. together. You have a child together. Yes. All right. So again, and I think I've answered this three or four times, but maybe you weren't listening. You're in, you don't have to stay in an unhappy marriage. If you are not happy, get a divorce. You already have your green card. They will look back on your marriage and say whether it's real or not. You have a child together. What more is real than you had a child? Nobody pays somebody to get a green card and then has children together with them. So obviously it's a real marriage because you have a child together. You're unhappy, get a divorce, life's too short. Uh, You'll have to fight over custody and visitation and child support and alimony and maintenance and you go through the whole thing. But ultimately you'll be divorced and then you have to prove it was a real marriage and here's proof it's a real marriage. Here's my son, real marriage, end of story and I'm divorced. So that's what you'll do. And um, yeah, I, I'm okay with that. And I, if it's not a bona fide marriage, uh, I know that. But the only thing I'm um, a little bit um, care about, I'm wondering what is the consequences? I mean, it's the, now, it's been con- like 12 the, months. We're just the, waiting. The, consequ- it, it, the consequence is that you're going to notify immigration that you are mm-hmm. getting a divorce. Okay. And you're going to go on the interview on your own. And you'll have to be fully divorced by the time you get that interview. So you're going to have to work things out with your wife fast and get divorced, if that's what you want. Got it. Correct. All right. I agree with that. All right, Brad. Thank you very much. Best of luck. Everybody's getting divorced. Man. Makes me scared. Why? To get remarried again. I was going to say, you planning on popping that question, Brad? Not after today. (laughs) No, no. You out of your mind? Yeah, I'm I'm not going to say yes to today. No. no, no, no. Nobody can ask me to marry them for the, like the next no, six months after I, the if, if I even was thinking about it, I'm having like third thoughts, Don't not even second thoughts. Rats canceled the appointment with a jeweler 20 minutes ago. <laughs> jeweler, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> my wallet's going right back in my, right, right back. Right back in the pocket, Right Brad. back in the pocket. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, K-Jewelers. <laughs> Cancel that appointment.
So my husband and I, we have been together for six years and we married three right. years. Now we have a four-year-old son. When we got married, my husband is a U.S. citizen. I was in Trinidad, so we were doing long distance all of the time. Last year, I decided to come up to the U.S. to do my Ph.D. because the intention was to go back to, Tr to Trinidad because right. we left our son in Trinidad. But in April of this year, my husband was diagnosed with stage four cancer. Oh, so all of our plans to go back to Trinidad yeah. changed. As a result, we decided to file the paperwork because I need I need now to be here with him. Right. So I'm concerned if that's going to be a, an issue because we are actually now filing. Um, although although I came up here on a student visa last I, year. I, because, as long as as long as you're filing more than 90 days after you came, it's not a problem at all. And obviously, e, and obviously, plans yeah. change. He got sick. All right. So I yeah. think you have. A, I think you're fine. I don't see any okay, problem. Okay. Also, too, we submitted the documents um, last week. The Thursday. documents that you submitted was an adjustment application and an I-130. Yes. Okay. Yes. Fine. Concurrent fine. filing. Fine. Fine. Yeah. And um, it was submitted on Thursday. Someone signed for it on Saturday. So I, I want to know how long does it take the Chicago Lockbox facility to tell us that they have received it because we haven't gotten an uh, well, e well, notification well, you're, yet. It should. It, Sometimes it takes two or three weeks, but you should see that the check of money order that you use to pay will be cashed in about three to five days. Okay, well, we haven't seen that as right. yet, so, right, so I guess I'll keep looking for it. Yeah. All right, so as soon as you know, as soon as you see the, the check cash, you know you're good. All right, thank you. All right, best of luck. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.